Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about a new feature that we shipped recently for warehouse management, which is called warehouse management app detours. And what this feature enables us to do is to park a task that a warehouse worker is currently executing and do something else from the mobile device while that parked task stays exactly where it was so that after the detour is complete, the worker can come back and will be directed to exactly the page that he was on. As one of the feedbacks that we often hear from users, from the workers, is that they are afraid to actually navigate away from wherever they were, not to lose the lock on the work or just not to lose their progress, not to lose um, the menu item that they were in. Uh, so this new feature will address um, that concern. And the beauty of this feature is that pretty much any mobile device menu item can be a detour on another flow. So in order to enable the detours feature, you also need to enable the step instructions because this is really the functionality that drives the configuration of where detours will show up. I have also enabled the promoted fields, which is a related feature that we shipped together uh, in the same release, more or less. With features enabled and out of the way, one other thing that I would like to call out is that we've expanded the metadata for the different steps um, considerably. And as I said, it is driven by the already existing framework around the mobile device app field names. So you should regenerate the default setup and adjust for any of your uh, custom flows if needed uh, to work well with this feature. In order to configure detours, you need to go to the mobile device steps menu item and then what you see is a list of all the different steps that are available in our application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter based on the step ID column, but in reality, you can filter on any four. So let me actually uh, type in license plate ID, and it's based on the step ID. And you can see that this is the default configuration, right? And I have created a configuration specifically for the mobile device menu item called sales picking. Uh, and what this allows me to do, right, is to customize the texts, for example, so that for this particular menu item, I get a set of slightly different instructions for the users uh, or a different set of uh, labels for the different controls than by default out of the box. This also allows me to configure fields that will be prominently shown to the user in the details so that they don't need to click in and go into the details to, uh, to view some important information. Uh, but what we are going to focus on in this recording is setting up detours. And as you can see, I have already configured two uh, detours. One is allowing me to go in and do some adjustment of inventory while I'm doing sales picking. And the other one is allowing me to open the location inquiry. And if you notice, I'm actually sending some information into the detour. So I'm sending the location. And in this particular case, I'm also actually sending information back from the detour. And what I'm sending is the license plate. You will see how we are utilizing that in a little bit. Now, what I could be doing here, um, you know, you again, like you can set up any mobile device menu item as a detour. So, for example, you could uh, do a movement if there is something in your path and is blocking your way. You could, you know, pause where you were, do a, a movement of the inventory just to move things out of the way and then continue with your flow. That's one of the examples that might be pretty, pretty useful or you notice that there is something that fell in a nearby shelf and you want to adjust it out, for example, or you notice something is wrong in the current shelf, so you might want to do spot counting or uh, and just directly adjust it in depending on your um, level of experience and, and security in, in the warehouse. 
Another flow that I have configured is item inquiry. And as part of you know, the expansion of the metadata that I mentioned, we have uh, configured that certain uh, steps that were not visible in you know, the field definition are now available here as well, like the list, the work list, the inquiry screen. Obviously, there is no um, input controls in those screens, so you cannot define, um, you know, texts for them, right, and instructions for them, but you can still define detours on them. And what I've done here is just set up a spot counting flow, passing in the location, <coughs> and a status change, so an inventory status change flow, passing in the location as well. All right, so I've also created a sales picking work. Uh, this is the ID. And let's do a little bit of a demo. So here I'll scan in the work that I want to uh, perform. And you can see that I am instructed to pick 10 pieces of A001 from FL001 location. Now, in that location, I have multiple license plates, and for whatever reason, I'm not able to scan them, so I need to enter them. What I can do is I can open the available actions, and you can see that there is a couple detours that are uh, available here in addition to the standard menu items that you would see. The detours have a special icon, so you can easily identify that this is a, tour, a detour by this return icon, right? Because we want to highlight that once you're done with this flow, you'll actually return to your current flow. And I'm going to go into the location inquiry because I know the location. I passed it in immediately as part of the detour. And I can just confirm that this is indeed what I want to uh, inquire on and I can see the two license plates. And in my particular case, I want to pick from another LP. So I select that and click back. What this will do is it will pass back this LP into my sales picking flow, right? So I'm exactly where I was, but now I have populated the license plate. So I can just uh, confirm and proceed to scanning the target license plate having picked from another LP. That's pretty cool, I think. Now, as you saw, I kind of clicked and selected a particular card in an item inquiry flow, right? And was able to go back with the context of that card into the main flow, right? Not just the, the header field, which was the, uh, the item ID, right? But also with other fields from that card. Now I'd like to go into an item inquiry flow and view the on hand available for A001. And you can see I have four locations where that on hand is available. And let's say I actually want to, like this quantity looks suspicious, so I want to do uh, counting on this location. Well, now I can do that by just long pressing on this card, bulk 001, and I get an a list of available actions, which is limited to just the detours that are possible there. So when I select spot counting, you remember I clicked on bulk 001, I immediately get directed and location is pre-populated with bulk 001 and I'm in the spot counting flow. Now, one of the other things that I was showing in this flow is that you know, you get instructions for each of the steps. You can see it is like a short description and the action that you should be performing. You can keep them or you can mark each of the individual steps once you've read it the first time that you don't want to see it again. You're familiar now with what you're supposed to do in this step and proceed. So now you can enter the quantity and go on with the counting flow. Once you are done, you can come back and once you're out of the spot counting flow as if you're returning to the main menu you're back to your inquiry screen and you can continue and let's say do you know a spot counting or do inventory status change on another location for example yeah so one of the things that i wanted to ask you guys is as you can see right now we populate the value that we pass in from the main flow 
but we don't automatically confirm it. And one of the reasons is it might not be as obvious to the user in certain flows. And as well, it will require kind of a longer waiting time. The way that we have implemented the feature, it would still need to go through the individual steps, populating the value and then submitting, right? So the perception from the user might be that it now takes a little bit longer. So I'd like to, to really hear your feedback. Uh, so please leave comments or reach out directly and you know share some of the detours that you think would be relevant for you, for your business, share whether or not we should enable auto confirmation, potentially configured per detour. Um, yeah, and just kind of general feedback on the feature. There is a, a really nice thing I would like to build um, on top of the detours uh, as a kind of side feature. Uh, so more to come in one of the following blog posts. Thank you very much and look forward to your feedback.